Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show where we talk about football helmets and everything connected to them. Today yes. is Sunday. Happy Sunday. If you want to see your photos on this show, email them to pics at greengridiron.com. We are getting more and more each week, it seems like, and they are getting better and better, mo most of them. And if your helmet makes it on this show, you'll get something for free, usually a decal. If it's exceptional, we're known to give away a t-shirt or two. Yeah, we'll give it a pick. That's right. And, we'll, and either one of us can give away one pick. Sometimes we give away no picks. I am kind of the helmet guy. I grade you on your helmet. I try not to take into consideration your composition or your fanciness or how the photo looks or anything like that. It's all right. about the helmet and the, the pieces on the helmet. Steve here is a professional photographer and he's got the eye. So he is looking at talking to you about how you can make your pictures better, the things that you can do better to really get that wow factor when you want to take pictures of this stuff and put it on your social media or wherever you want to put it. That's right. First up, Jackson with an X. It's a cool way of spelling that. Uh, here we go. All right, Jackson, right out of the gate. I like the decal, kind of cool with like a little lightning strike. I like the side decal too. So the design of the, the decals, pretty cool. I like it. It's on a Vices helmet. Mm -hmm. Looks good on the Vices helmet. Um, we've got the chin strap on, on the side helmet is kind of pushed back. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, you know, the vices, they do look because it goes underneath. True. You know, True. That's a, they've always looked a I, little off like that. I am not going to take off points for that no. at all. Great pictures. I love the one on the rocks. The ones in grass look great. I mean, they're all nice. I love the, the decal too. I love all that. So here's what th some things that we could do better with this helmet that are possible. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it some pretty high marks because I think the decals are just really cool. I haven't seen that before. Uh, I know that Vices offers different colored face mask clips. You see them in the NFL and college. So put some white clips on here for mm -hmm. those face mask clips. Yeah, so overall, I'm gonna give this guy a 7.2. 7.2. It's clean, I like it. We're right off the gate with a Vices helmet, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is, uh, there was a time when we weren't seeing any, now we've yeah, we see it every single week. We're seeing more and more vices. More and more. Next up, Jack L. Pretty standard with Jack. Mm -hmm. Looks like what we have is chrome decals. Do we have only two photos from Jack? Just two. Just two yeah. photos. Nice though. Look at that background, man. That's a cool backyard. Yeah, you got a lake. It's at the lake house. Yeah, he's got the tiki torch. We love stories. I love a photo that tells a story, and I feel like this is a. I feel like this is at the lake house. And right? I feel like it's retired. The jersey's there. It's chilling oh, out. Yeah? I just feel like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent job with the cutting of the decals and the vent holes too. Yep. Huge Very numbers nice. on the back like yep. the Steelers. Yeah. It's nice cool. big numbers. Uh, overall, pretty standard. The date on this is a 2016. Overall for this helmet here, I'm going to give this guy a 6.2. Okay. I like the, I like the numbers. This looks like uh, someone's game used High school helmet. Oh, yeah. I think so, for sure. Yeah. All right, next up, Franz. Oh, man, I like this. This right now, going on the title image. You'll be on the thumbnail, for sure. Yeah. How, right? That's a good picture. It's so great. Wide-angle lens, right? Oh, yeah. Up really close. Nice down low. The colors are popping. Nice, I, nice. Yeah, I like the colors. Uh, it looks like we've got a shock insert on an Under Armour visor in here which is nice. We've got a decal on kind of the top um, flex area of the helmet. I don't know what that says. Dude, that says B&B &B Hotels. So it's a popular thing. Sometimes they do this with semi-pro teams, but it's a popular thing outside the US, especially in Europe. When the teams are sponsored, they're gonna put the, that whoever the sponsors logos or whatever, either on the jerseys or on the helmet. The helmets are easiest because it's just a decal. I wish they did that in the USA and stopped playing so many commercials. Where are you right. coming from? And if those are actually sponsorship decals, who's your sponsor? Leave Otherwise, comments. Let us yeah, know. So I'm going to give that guy a 6.0 because it's asking so much, so many questions. 6.0? 6.0. That's really good. It's, I, it's, it's pretty stingy, for, man. For a speed flex, <laughs> it's pretty basic. I like this one. You see this one? I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, I'm. I'm, absor I'm I, I am absorbing. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I especially like the one outside. I love the play of the Bears logo. Yeah, it's almost uh, it's almost copyright infringement oh. level. 
Almost. <laughs> Almost, I guess. Almost, so, exactly. So here's the question I have for you, Steve. Yes. The, the, the photo that was taken outside, what time of day is this? Is this in the morning or is this in the evening? Because it's a football facility, I'm thinking early morning. I'm going morning. Or, or, or they're there, maybe it's a, a Friday, they're getting ready for the, yeah. the, their game. What do you think it is? I Instinctively, I thought evening. Until sunset. you heard my rationale, though. Um, I liked your rationale better than mine. I think I liked your story better than my story. How's that? <laughs> Let's go. This is 6.20 a.m. But man. that's why I asked. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go with a 6.2. Okay. 6.2. I'm looking for the, you got to do, I need something I'm with to you. get, to get over a seven. That's a, that's a good six right there. Yeah. All right. Next up, Colby, he sent in two different helmets, a couple of different photos. They are dark. Okay. Um, however, so if you've got more than one helmet, then you get an average of the two. And I don't tell you which one's getting what. I love the pictures. Mm. Love it. Camera? Phone. Uh, uh, it's probably a phone, and then he did some light, um, some filters on it. I'm, I say it all the time. I'm not a filter fan, mm -hmm. but I, I get it. And I have to say, the one of the Speedflex facing the right, that's one of the mm -hmm. coolest, most badass-looking Speedflexes I've seen in a while. Look at that visor, man. It's almost painted black. So, yeah, so it looks like a Nike visor. Um, everything's super dark in here. I think that that... Actually, is this a Nike visor? I don't even know. This might be a Nike visor. This might be kind of a generic visor. Sometimes it's hard to tell. What we have here, if you, I, I can't tell on the white helmet so much, but on the black helmet, we've got a transfer decal, which if it wasn't a transfer decal, I'd almost call it a sticker. Yes, it's very thin. It's, so it's thinner than the, the decals that you see the colleges and pro teams wearing in that those are 20 mil. This is probably more like maybe, it looks to be, I don't know, six? Like, yeah. Or four to six, somewhere in that range. But it's cool because it's, it's, it's metallic or chrome, I see which two, is nice. I see two really interesting things. The chin strap is cut like it's off of a Zenith, right? It has like that slant. But what it does. what is that front bumper? It looks like a front bumper blank with a decal. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it's just, it's just a decal that's kind of just oversized. It's a little bit looks a little bit bigger. That's my gut. Depending on the decal company, they'll cut them different ways. Sometimes it doesn't look bad. Yeah, and then he's painted the clips on both of these, so the clips and the strap locks. You know, white on the white helmet, black on the black hel black helmet. So that's that's cool. He did the bonus points for that. He did the valve caps. He painted white too. Painted the valve caps. There's a lot going so on. There's, there's a lot of yeah. custom work going on here. He may have painted the helmets himself as well. Definitely going to get bonus points on both of these helmets for that. I like the black one a lot better. Yeah, same personally, here. but I like everything black better. I don't know why. <laughs> Beautiful so, shots here, by the way. Beautiful. I'm outside. gonna. Go, this is an average score. I'm gonna go with a 7.5. Okay, nice. I, I like that score. I yeah. do. So good job with those. That's yeah. nice. Next up, Nicholas with All right, a K. Nicholas. All right, Nicholas. I, I, I'm just going to let these speak for themselves. God family football. Or is it family God football? Uh, or is it... I think he's meaning it God family football. I mean, F7 looks awesome. I, I, I like that, believe it. I just, the decals are placed weird. And there's a lot of weird yeah. things about it, but I just think it looks cool. I'm okay with it. The other one, I just don't, I don't get it, but I, I don't have to get it. Well, it looks like, I'm trying to figure out what type of helmets. So we got three there's different? Two, two helmets, yeah. Yeah, we've got two different helmets. Um, I don't know what comic this is, but that's okay. It might be... A bunch of different ones, or maybe just just generic. I think it's a combination of a bunch of different ones. But yeah, but it looks like it's a. It was a big. I guess it's a big decal or sticker that was put on here. It doesn't look like a hydrographic. Yeah. It could be a hydrographic. Those both mat. Those match on the helmets. Those are obviously things that are important to him, and he put it on there. And I think that all, a lot of the designs of these are things that are are unique to him. Steelers fan, or maybe that's the name name of the team, and. The comics, he's obviously in the comics. I'm, yeah. I'm curious, I'm wondering if the entire team has right. their helmets like that or is that is or do they kind of have the freedom to decorate their own helmets a little bit? Interesting. Let us know. What's Nicholas Let getting? Let us know. Again, average scores. Um, 
We had an F7 and a Vengeance. We had some interesting things going on there. I'm going to go with the 6.7. All right. That's bonus that's points answer. for uniqueness. Not my style. Same here. Yeah. So you know, lose a couple what points do we know, there, and maybe you're going to end up okay. We Next got up, G Monty. G Monty in the house. Just uh, space bar. Love the color. I don't love that they put the Adidas sticker tabs on the visors, like over the old ones. I would have taken the old ones off. And there may be a bunch on there. He's got the new cam lock on there for his chin strap. So this is a newer helmet. Shows better if it was inside. This would definitely just look like a black face mask. Yes, thank you for taking the pictures outside. But it looks to be the same color purple as what the Vikings are using. Yeah. The Vikings actually switched their color this year from, they moved it like a shade <laughs> of purple in a different direction. That's fine. Um, so I think that, I, I, I too like the purple. Very basic face mask. It's an SF2BD. We've got a, I'm assuming this is an Adidas visor in here. Adidas uses generic visors for a lot of their stuff. So it very well could be a gen, an Adidas or a generic with Adidas decals on there. Can't see what's going on the back of the helmet. No. Overall, paint job, bonus points for the paint job. Pretty good decal. Purple and yellow go well together. Obviously, exactly. that's what the Vikings do. So it's kind of their, their scheme. I'm going to go with a 6.3. Three. We're we're really average today. Yeah, we're hovering. Yeah, in and six. I'll say when you know we've been doing these videos for a while now. In the beginning, the speeds were getting bonus points just for being. Or excuse me, sorry, the speed, speed flexes flex. were giving bonus points just for being spec, speed flexes. Not so anymore. There you so go. What have you done for me lately? Yeah, you got to try harder now. Like Joe M, who is next? All right, Joe. Let's see what you got. Love these pictures. So Joe is. Got an older helmet. This is a Riddell Speed. It's got a lightweight face mask on it, black chin strap when really a black chin strap doesn't kind of make sense because it's got the white bumpers. Typically, I'd like to see white bump or the color of the bumpers match the color of the face mask or the color of the chin strap. I'm sorry. The color of the bumpers match the color of the chin strap unless there's something else that matches. Typically, it's either the face mask matches the chin strap. Right. Now, you do have a black chin yep. strap straps, and then you have the black numbers on the side. It's exactly what I was just going to say. Um, again, I am focused on the helmet here. This is all pretty basic stuff. Yes, it's an upgraded painted color, kind of that Vegas gold. Overall, I like the fact that it's either he didn't care what the chin strap, how it was positioned, or he did that on purpose. Kind of like you see, you know, people who mess their hair up after they wake up to make it look like right. they have bedhead when reality is it's, they spend an hour in the mirror. I'm going to say he meant it because there there was other things that he paid attention to. Like, look at the football, the NFL, mm -hmm. and then he turned it to make sure it was on the back because it's not on both sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you pay attention to those little things, getting the angle right, getting the sun right, I'm going to say there's no way that he didn't know because he probably couldn't get it right. So he was probably like, watch yeah. this, and just made it. That's if what I would do. you can't get it right, get it so wrong that it looks like you're not trying. I love that. Yeah. Photo of the day so far for me. Well, I love the Starburst. Yeah. So, so moving away from the helmet, I'm going to give the helmet itself yeah. a 6.0. Okay. The photo, though, I really, I love Starburst. Yes. All right, next up, Cole. All right, Cole. All right, Cole's, Cole's getting fancy here. Do you see the moon? I do see the moon. And the scoreboard and all? And, and I see the scoreboard with a little bokeh. He's losing the moon. This is him losing the moon. This is him losing the moon. Now, this one that I'm on right now this with is the tough, helmet. Because no, nothing is in focus. I, I believe he was trying to get the moon and have yeah. the... If you're going yeah. to do something like this... Good luck. Get way close to the helmet, then tap that the moon so it gets focused. Right now, you're just too far away for that to work. This, to me, is not, not the best. Is but this the other grass or turf? It, it looks nice. Helmet-wise... So he's got to see, he, he cut his stripe on his speed flex. Yeah. So there's bonus points for that because that shows that he cares. He got some, you know, nice decals um, with the number five on the, on the side, nothing over the top or anything like that. Not much going on in the back. I can't tell if there's an American flag back there or not. You know, we've got the Sports Star, what appears to be Sports Star ratchet strap. Decent amount of upgrades here, but this is a helmet that's being used for the field and for a field use helmet. This guy looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with got multiple bonus points. I like to see the the stripe the stripes cut. 
because it looks like that was done on purpose. Definitely. And then we got the visor, we got the moon chin strap. And I know that doesn't I, count. That doesn't count. I but know. I'm going to go with the 6.7. Nice. Nice. Thank you for that. Next up, Nick D. And this is a do-it-yourself he sent before and after. I like that we have the before and after to see. It makes the after look so much better when you see where it came from. Yeah. And we see a lot of people doing a lot of their own helmets. And this is a good example of take more pictures of the process. The mask almost looks too big for the helmet. I'm wondering if, it, uh, if it's a smaller size shell helmet or a youth helmet. Mm. Can't tell no. the sizing on that or anything like that. Uh, I love the, the round, the nice round cuts in the decal or the, for all of the holes of the helmet. I yeah. think that that's great. We've got 3D bumpers on the front and in the back. We've got obviously a Nike shield, um, their Nike school. Just a standard shut chin strap, nothing special there. We've got the EGOP2 face mask. Overall, this is a helmet that I think you should be really proud of. I love seeing you're taking something that's basically garbage. Yeah. And right. you're turning it into something that now looks great sitting on a shelf. And you can wear or look at while your favorite team is playing. I love do-it-yourself stuff. It's good. Yeah, it's cool. and, and yeah. you get big bonus points for that. Um, so I'm going to go with a 7.5. Nice. That's, that, that's the highest one yet, I believe. Could be. Uh, next up and last up, Ryan G. All right, G, let's see what you got here. Looks good. Prop. I like the wetness of it. Proper photos. I love the face mask. I love the nastiness of the clouds mm -hmm. and the brick and the really forward in your face. Excellent stuff here. So here's a question I got for you. So it looks like if this... I'm going to assume that all of these photos were taken with the same lens. Yeah, oh yeah. So you see how this one from the front, this is a wide angle lens, it's right? It's distorted, yeah. If these are all taken with the same lens, wouldn't you think this was taken further back and then cropped in? Very, and you know what it is too? It's the only portrait one. So yeah, mm -hmm. he that tilt was probably a little off. I still put it, I, I like it. This is a really, really cool look. Yeah, I like the dome screw too. It's neat. Yeah, so we got a Z10, which is a, a, a variant of the Vengeance. Look here, it looks like he cut his yeah, cut his cut his chin straps a little bit. The bottoms. We, yep. You know, we got dome screw going right into the, the the side decal. I'm not sure what is that. Just, it's uh, a monster, an R, a like monster R. hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 buy that. You'll allow that. I will allow that. Um, I like. This particular helmet, especially the Z10, the way that Shut puts, I guess, the whole thing together, just kind of gives it a higher level it's class a, of, of, of finish, fit and finish. I is agree. Nice. It looks complete. It just looks and rugged. Yeah, I would go with, you know, what we've got here, we've got clear clips on the side and black clips up top. I don't like the, I just call it the uni clip. I don't know. What, I can't ever remember what it's the, actually called. I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, I, 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 I get you. it. Why, why, why they do it? It makes it easier for the face mask to come off in case of emergencies. But reality is, I just don't like it. Overall, though, I think it's really, it looks really good. I like the pictures that look wet. You want to call that high contrast or whatever. I'm going to go on this guy and I'm going to go with seven point seven. Seven point seven. That's and for a field use helmet. That's damn high. And we're going to close close with the highest score. Nothing that blew really blew us away. Get better and better. Try harder. We want to see unbelievable work. Email them to picks at greengridiron.com. You'll get here eventually. I promise. It might take a couple weeks. Yes. Yeah. Like, subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching. Yes. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.